bless your kingdom family. I pray that your day is going well and smooth. I thank you for tuning in. I thank you for pressing play and taking time out of your day. You didn't have to, but you did. God bless you. Today's topic here at Kingdom Business is that the pain is worth it. Now, today we see that we all go through obstacles in life. We all go through painful moments. I don't think there's one person on this earth that's never been in a painful moment. But in the painful moments, will you trust the Lord? Will you lean on his shoulder? Will you continue to hear what he is saying to you? Or will you just ignore him because of the predicament you're in? You see, you know what I'm coming to find out? A lot of people come to God or want to become a Christian because of the blessing. The material things Cell phones Cars Whatever it may be They want that But what happens when You do get it What happens then You're asking for a house You get the house But now you're complaining to God Because you can't pay the electric bill You can't pay the gas bill But you ask for the house now you start to blame God. But what God did for you is that you asked for the house. You didn't ask for the utilities included. So is that God's fault or your fault? Most likely, it's your fault. The problem with today, we like to do this rather than this. And right here, we need to see what we are doing wrong. It's called self-examination. That's what we need to start doing in our walk with God because it's very easy to point fingers. But the question is, God's asking you, what are you doing? You see, we cause ourselves our own pain most of the time. We do. And we can't blame the enemy 24 hours a day for our issues. For instance, you know that you need air in your tire, but you're going to continue to ride on it. Then when you get a flat tire, you're going to say it's the devil. <laughs> really? But you knew that you need to put air in your tire before you went anywhere. That's your fault. God's given you the funds to pay your electric bill, but you decide to go waste it on clothes. Oh, it's because of the devil. That my bill's not getting paid. No, it's not because of the enemy. It's because you're not a good steward over what God's given you. You see, everybody wants stuff from God, but nobody knows how to take care of what God gives in their hand. Once God places it in your hand, it's on you to take care of it. Same thing with a mother. When she's having contractions and she's going through, you know, the doc asking the doctor, 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 it hurts, it hurts. It, the pain is extrudinating, it hurts. I, and the doctor tells her, you're only at two centimeters. And she's looking at the doctor like, what, how you? And that's the problem right there. We say, God, how do you know? Well, God's a professional in what he does. Same thing with a doctor. You can't tell a doctor that you're not at two centimeters. Why? Because they're a professional at what they do. You see, we try to question the person that's professional in their job. So if God given you pain, don't you think he knows how to be a professional in it and help you through it? Same thing with a doctor, with a mother, and is in the hospital getting ready to deliver a baby. She's going through pain. Two centimeters, three centimeters, four centimeters, five centimeters, all the way to ten. Now once you get to ten, now the baby's ready to come out. And that's the same thing with God. God is saying, you're not ready yet to have this. Because you haven't gone through enough pain. You see, people want the blessings, but they don't want the pain that comes with it. Pain is required of the blessing. Why does God give us pain? Because it's when we go through pain, we recognize that if it wasn't for this pain that I went through, I would have never cherished what I have. 
So when a mother gives birth to a child, she cherishes it. She loves on that child. She holds the child right next to her. She don't care what the baby has on her. Some of the mothers will be like, you don't even need to wipe the baby. Just give me him. Or give me her. She's not asking questions. She's taking care of what God has given her. So when God puts something in your hands, are you taking care of what God's put in your hands? Or are you complaining about what God's put in your hands? I guarantee you if we took a survey and asked multiple mothers who had children, what's more worth it? The pain that you went through or seeing that baby in your hand? I guarantee you half of the mothers will say holding that child. If you ask them. Did the pain hurt? Obviously, they're going to say, yeah. But I guarantee you, they will say, the pain that I went through to deliver this beautiful child will never comprehend or compare to what I have now. Same thing with us. When we're going through pains, you know, cars messing up, bills stacked to the ceiling, no money in the bank account, no job, relationships going haywire, families arguing. It's in them moments that God is building you. And preparing you and telling you that you're only at six centimeters. Trust me, I'm a professional in what I do. But many people don't like to trust God because they have a lack of faith. When the Apostle Paul makes it clear that we don't walk by sight. But we walk by faith. We walk by faith and not by sight. Oh, yeah. So now the things that you see are easy. But God doesn't want to give it to you easy. God preserves the enemy dishes out to you on a platter. You see, when God gives it to you, you worked, you earned it. You got to go through something. And God wants you to be diligent and a good steward over what he's given to you. So if you didn't take anything out of this today, I'm letting you know that the pain that you're going through will never compare to what God's going to bring forth into your hands. And when God puts that in your hands, it's your job to take care of it, not God's job. Because God's trusting you with what he put in your hands. God bless you and I pray that this message will bless you. Share it. Continue to subscribe to my channel to stay updated to the latest things happening here at Kingdom Business. God bless y'all. Love y'all. It's Kingdom Business. Peace.